Well, happening today, Arkansas Farm Bureau is hosting its trade show and farmers market to show off locally made products. Fox 16's Dorothea Wilson joins us live from the State House Convention Center with a look at what all they have to offer. Are you what are, are you inside of Ooh, a tractor? Oh, she's in a big old tractor there. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. This is actually called a skid steer, and this is one of the many things you'll see at this year's 89th year convention. Now, this is the first year that the trade show is open to the public, and they have some great things in store. Now, I'm here with Jeff McClure, and he's going to tell us more about it. Yeah, Dorothea, you know, as you say, we're down in the trade show of our annual convention this year, and you know, it's the first time open to the public. We got over 50 vendors. We got ag mechanics, which are projects that are built by high school students here in Arkansas. We got got a farmer's market, 25 vendors for that. So it's a great place to come down, look for some Christmas presents because we got some items going up for auction and you know, come down and see us. Yep. All right. So I understand that there's a special part about the auction. Tell us about that. Yeah. So a lot of the auction, what the auction is, it benefits the kids' the schools that they're in, all their projects and their organizations and all that money goes back to them so they can do other big things that they want to do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get back to this skid steer. I got some farming to do, so I'll be back later. Back to you, Ashley and Pat. Today, Arkansas Farm Bureau is hosting its trade show and farmer's market to show off locally made products. Yes, Fox Succeeds. Dorothea Wilson joins us live now with a look at everything that they have to offer. Good morning, Dorothea. Good morning, Ashley, and good morning, Pat. I am here with Tony Porter and Zach Hammock, and they are, well, he is one of the students. He's an instructor, but he's one of the students that helped to build all that you'll see at the auction just this year. So, Tony, tell me a little bit about what we're standing in front of. Yes, ma'am, this is a portable hog trap and trailer. It's for um, transporting your four-wheeler with your hog trap at the same time, and you can unload your four-wheeler and haul it with the four-wheeler to get to where you're going so when you trap hogs that it's just you don't have to take them separately and uh, it's a in individual panel so you can just drop it and pin it together easy to use anybody can do it it's just, that's about it awesome awesome so how does it feel to have built this and it's going out for auction uh, it feels amazing I'm glad Farm Beer uh, gave us this opportunity very awesome. happy Awesome. And so to you, sir, tell us how important is it for events like this and having the children involved? In particular for farmers, uh, especially in our county, Calhoun County, where we're from, um, wild hogs are, are very bad and detrimental to the farmer's croplands and their pastures. And this trap right here is just another tool that they can use to save, save millions of dollars across the state. Awesome. And how does it feel to have helped these kids build these things? Oh, it's awesome. It's uh, We've got a good group of kids where we're at, and uh, it's awesome to see all the other projects that we have as well with all the other students building those. Absolutely. He's a tall one, isn't he? <laughs> all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are lots more things to see when you come out here to the convention this year because this is the first year that it's actually open to the public, so you should stop by. All right. Ashley, Pat, back to you. Happening today, Arkansas Farm Bureau is hosting its trade show and farmer's market to show off locally made products. Fox 16's Dorothea Wilson joins us live now from the State House Convention Center with a look at everything they have to offer. Dorothea? Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am here at the 89th annual convention, but this is the first year that the public is allowed to attend the trade show. Now, I have none other than John McMinn, and he is the agricultural economist, and he's going to tell us all about these next two days. John? Yeah, thanks for having me. So we're here at the State House Convention Center in downtown Little Rock, the 89th annual convention. Uh, over the next two or three days, we're going to have a giant trade show that we have every year, but this year we've got a, two or three special things that we've never done before. So right now we've got a, a FFA and 4-H student Ag Mechanic Show. Well, they have built their own projects, say deer stands, trailers, benches, picnic tables, you name it, and they're going to be on auction too. Nice. So, uh, also we have a farmer's market. So, we've never done a farmer's market before, and it is kind of late in the year for a farmer's market, but, you know, we're here to support local foods and specialty crops, uh, and uh, those vendors will be here for the next two days. And this year, for the first time, our trade show is open to the public. Mm -hmm. So, if you're downtown or in the Little Rock area on your lunch break, or eat, for the next two days, I think we open today at 10, and I think we go to like 4.30 or 5 until, you know, what, Friday, or Thursday, excuse me. Okay. So, yeah, we've got a lot going on here. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, I'll be around the farmer's market area, uh, but if you're looking for some local food or a new trailer or a deer stand, it's deer season coming up, so uh, this would be a good place to be. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to these next two days. I hear there is a little bit of emu meat here, so we're looking forward to checking that out. But in the meantime, Ashley, Pat, back to you. All right. Happening today, Arkansas Farm Bureau is hosting its trade show and farmers market to show off locally made products and Fox 16's Dorothea Wilson has been getting a tour of all of the action there and she joins us live now, Dorothea. Hi, good morning, Ashley. Yes, I am here with none other than Miss Amy Hall, and she is a vendor at this year's event. This is the 89th year for this event and the first time that the trade show is open to the public. Now, again, like I said, she's a vendor and she's representing the gum. What is it again? Gum, gum Creek. Creek. Gum Creek. The Gum Creek Emu Farm. So something really different there. Now, Miss Amy, how did you get into this? So about 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with this very strange meat allergy. They say it's caused by a tick bite and it caused me to be allergic to all mammal meat. And uh, I went in search of something that I could have besides chicken and turkey. And I found emu and I decided to get a few emus and um, the other people in the alpha gal community were like, are you going to have meat? You're going to have meat? So now I have 200 birds wow. and um, they just started laying and I hope to have more birds next year. Mm -hmm. So, but emu, the great thing about emu is that it's high in iron and it's low in fat and it's got a lot of B vitamins and uh, niacin and it, supplies all those things that you miss when you have a major diet change. Awesome, awesome. So just show us really quick what you have here because our time is running short, but I just want to show the people what an emu steak looks like. So this is an emu fan fillet steak. This would feed several people. This is about uh, 1.3 pounds of emu meat. So I have steaks, I have roasts, I have ground. I also have some feathers for sale, and I have emu oil, which is a fabulous moisturizer. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Miss Amy. These are all the things that you can get at this year's convention. Back to you.